What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, welcome, current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash your sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Aries. This is bonus reading for sign of Aries. This could resonate if you have Aries in any, any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or seven hangers of your chart. Stuff with basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general bonus reading for sign of Aries. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support of your channel. If you'd like to donate to High Priestess Profile, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart, Chakra, single mom of two kids. So it really helps support a single mom of two kids. And one of her income streams. And anybody doesn't know, I have a child custody battle tentatively on 725 of 2022 with my ex-husband. Um, he is fighting me for custody of my two teenagers. So if everybody could just think of me. I, I keep me in your thoughts, prayers, meditations, whatever, well wishes, whatever you do on the spiritual side, spiritual and religious side, or what have you, what have you side. I very much appreciate you guys. Spirit messages you have tonight, Aries. This is if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in energy of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs for additional message or messages um, if they apply to you. Love you guys. By the way, while I'm shuffling out, I just want to say it's not the first rodeo with my ex-husband. It's actually more like Court Battle 5, 6, or 7. It's at least Court Battle 5. The first couple times he went for adjustment of child support back when I became an RN. I was licensed as an RN in 13, but started working as an RN in 14. So shortly after I started working as a night supervisor in a long-term care facility, he took me for adjustment of child support, which I understood that. Because his uh, wife at the time, she was not an RN at the time. Uh, I don't even know if she was in school at the time. She might have been, might not have been. But, um, you know, she wasn't working. So, um, or wasn't working as an RN. I think she was a CNA or something. But anyway, so, um, which she is now. She's an RN now. But my point is, um, I understood the adjustments. But then things started getting, cra started getting crazy. Like two years ago, he accused me of child abuse. Had my older sister in there as his witness and everything. That was two years ago. Six years ago, my ex boy I met my boyfriend at the time. He manipulated my daughter and basically had her go around with the phone he bought her. She was about 10 years old at the time. And had her go around my rented home at the time, which was a rented home about six years ago. This is a home I bought five years ago. But he had her go around that home, the rented home, six years ago and take photos of my ex, my boyfriend at the time's belongings and a drawer I made him and his toothbrush and toothpaste and things like that um, to prove as evidence in the court of law that I was contempt of court and that um, I um, was breaking the papers because he was all about following the papers. And he was swearing up and down this man was living with me. Because in the papers it states you can't have anybody living with you if they're, if they're not married. If you're not married. So, uh, um, so yeah, that's just a little screenshot and highlight of my court situations with this man. It's not the first rodeo. It's many rodeos. It's really sad. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Hashtag live free. If anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. Number nine could be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number nine, we have crocodile, sea serpent. For some, you could be dealing with water signs or fire sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, inhibitor, or Jupiter, charts. If you are, we have broken heart, toad, Scales, keep your life in balance. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. This is for the sign of Aries. I haven't received any downloads yet, but if I do, I will let you know. Crocodile. Very aggressive Libra is about to come at you. For some, it's a co-worker. 
for some it's a subordinate in a co-working situation for some it's a, a, a boss above you in a co-working situation for some it's a family member for some it's a officer of the law you are officer of the law it'd be best to transmute the energy and go and go report this person to somebody else oh my god you plug it in how it resonates dear god so heavy libra and energy it can be a masculine or femme leaves they could have libra in their sun moon rising venus ortho in haven or jupiter charts heavy co-working energy for some of you guys it's a family member um but for some it is a um it's co-working for some it's your boss manager boss supervisor or ceo for some it is um a subordinate underneath you um and for some it's co-worker so co-worker like equal playing fields co-worker um dear god and for some you are officer of the law and they are an officer of the law so you you are both officers i don't know if you're detectives or street side officers or you work at the school or you work out in the community or what there's many facets of officer officers of law so however that resonates applies for you uh aries but how that resonates this libra is going to be very aggressive i heard very aggressive so i mean i don't know what is about to cause this aggression i don't know i don't know if they're always aggressive or if it's a change in their behavior i'm not sure um, only you know who this person is and how they normally act um however that resonates but heavy co-working energy whether it's a, a co-worker on e equal playing fields with you or a manager boss supervisor or ceo above you or a subordinate underneath you how that resonates or if you're the two officers of the law and it's a libra police officer masculine or femme i feel this could be masculine or femme libra but very aggressive libra energy my god and for one it's a family member but this is your libra energy they're coming in as a crocodile energy they're coming in as fire sign crocodile energy aggressive got their eye on you i mean you see that eye on that crocodile they're not messing around they got their eye on you they're teeth all out i mean i don't yikes let's see if i hear anything else they're not going to come in nice and they're not going to come in playing around and i don't know if the aggression is warranted or not warranted only you know how this person normally acts not anybody else for some it could be warranted for some maybe not i'm not sure it sounds like it hasn't happened yet it's upcoming so you uh, just be careful whoever this is for dear god this for one they're already under heavy fire for one they're about to be under heavy fire for one they're already under heavy fire for one they're about to be under heavy fire so under heavy fire that could be investigation that could be um their their boss or somebody over them or around them or what have you what have you down their throat i mean i'm not sure but under heavy fire means they're getting it from other people so i think they're about to take it out on you is what i think aries but you plug it in how it resonates whether it's your family member or somebody above you somebody under you or somebody on equal playing field in your workspace um yikes Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Holy crap. I heard it'd be best to transmute the energy and go to um, somebody above you um, in that. So if that resonates for you, um, of course, you can listen to the spiritual advice or not. But even if I didn't get it as spiritual advice, that's what I would give as advice. It'd be, I mean, transmuting the energy, not engaging in any more aggression with this person is definitely the smartest move. It's definitely the smartest move and um, going and transmuting the energy and reporting this person because I heard the smart idea, uh, smart move here would be to transmute the energy. So take it, 
what they've given you in this form of aggression and go boom, 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 and report it to somebody else above you so they can handle it, basically. Um, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Because you can't help how other people act. You just can't. But you can control the actions you're going to take when they treat you that way. And that's the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Sea serpent. A very, very, very deceptive, manipulative water sign masculine that made it to corporate through many series of he made it to corporate on lies and deception. You know this. Through many series of chain events, you're about to make a very important phone call to someone you know in corporate to tell the lies. He's a huge liar, a huge fraud, a huge thief, and you're about to reveal this. You know it's going to get him fired, and you're right, it will. Wow, Aries. Well, okay. So you, you go with your bad self if this resonates for you. So some kind of water sign. I heard he's very sly, and um, he's very, very sly and very good with his words, very good with his self, and he's good at manipulating others, basically. I feel he could be good looking, and I'm just being serious. Um, I didn't hear he was. But I feel he could be. I feel he could be good looking and he knows how to deal with people. He knows how to manipulate people and he knows how to get his way. It's like the magician card in the tarot except the dirty magician card. Um, if that makes sense. Like manifesting but manifesting through lies and deception. I heard a thief and a fraud too. So he stole from person or people. He's frauded person or people. I mean he's done the most. He has manifested absolutely freaking lootly, but done it in sneaky, deceptive ways. You know this. I heard he's made it to corporate. So he has basically boom, boom, boom up the ladder in whatever corporate entity. Uh, it sounds like you, you either work with him or you're a family member of his. You either work with him, you're a family member of his, or you're a community member of his, or something of that nature. Maybe you're a lover or a former lover. I'm not sure, but somehow you know he made it to corporate. Whether you used to work with him on equal playing fields in a corporate entity or uh, or you're a family member, a community member, a neighbor, a lover, former lover, what have you. But somehow you know he made it to corporate, but he basically stepped on others to do it, is what it sounds like here. Um, I heard you're about to make a very important phone call to somebody in corporate that you know. So you know somebody in corporate, Aries, if this resonates for you. Um, that's why I feel for some you might work at this corporate entity. For some, you might not. But whether you work at the corporate entity or not, you know somebody in corporate, I think, up in the corporate building or buildings with him. And it's not him, obviously. And they obviously are very, they're a power play mover too, I feel. They're a power play mover. And I heard once you report all this theft, it could be a corporate compliance person, possibly. Or somebody, or maybe a manager that works in corporate compliance, possibly. Or safety officer or something like that. But how that resonates, you definitely know somebody powerful. I didn't hear who it was. But that's just my thoughts on who it possibly could be. But you know somebody in corporate, you personally do. And you're about to utilize that contact. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. And you're about, I heard, once you report this, you know it's going to get him terminated. And I heard it will. So your report is going to be very powerful, sir, ma'am. You could be a masculine or feminine Aries. But this report on this water sign masculine is about to be life-changing to you and him. It's about to get him fired. But I heard... You know it's going to. Um, it sounds like he has beat, literally beat other people into the ground to get to the top, is what it sounds like here. Um, sea serpent energy, that's him. S like succubus energy. Um, this is water sign energy, but sea serpents, they're like suckers, suckers of the sea. I feel he might be an energy sucker. He might be on the dark side. Actually, I intuitively feel he is on the dark side. If you steal and fraud and thieve and lie and manipulate your way to the top, you are on the dark side. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. 
I absolutely think he's on the dark side. I think he's energy sucked maybe off you in the past, Aries, or someone else, or you and someone else. And he has basically beat, literally, well, not physically, beat people into the ground. But metaphorically, some old people to get to the top. That's not how you should get to the top. If anybody needs to hear that, you should do it through hard work and um, desire, drive, and motivation. Proper fire sign energy, utilizing all the energies to get yourself to the top. Not um, metaphorically beating people into the ground and sucking their energy dry. I feel he might be an energy sucker uh, with the sea serpent energy. I heard you know it's going to get him fired. I heard you're right. So you haven't made the phone call yet, but you're about to. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. And during this phone call, this Aries is going to report a situation that happened in the past regarding the wrongful termination to get a feminine energy reinstated, paying it forward. Oh, well, okay, Aries. Okay, balancing the scales here. So, okay. So, I heard during this phone call, you're going to, I heard you are going to, this information is going to get him fired. So, I mean, you, you're highly intuitive. You're highly intuitive. I think you already knew that. I heard it, but that's confirmation from the spiritual realm. And I don't know how the hell that couldn't get somebody fired. That's just the truth. That's logical intuition and reasoning. How the hell could it not get somebody fired? That's just the truth. Um, but I heard during the phone call, basically, you're going to uh, report a situation that happened in the past regarding a wrongful termination of a fem energy in the past. Somehow, you know about this fem energy that was wrongfully terminated. Now, you could have had a hand in it or not. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Or you could just know with this fem energy that got ter uh, wrongfully terminated in the past. But I heard you're going to speak on that as well to help her get reinstated back into the company. So, she's wrongfully terminated now, meaning she's locked out of the company. When you're wrongfully terminated, terminate period, you cannot reapply back to the entire company. Not just a facility that terminated you wrongfully or not wrongfully. You can't apply to any of the um, entities in the corporate entity. Like, we've got the corporate entity. You can't apply to any facilities branched off. I don't care if there's 10 or 500 um, because you're locked out of the company, the entire company. Um, I think you know this, and I, obviously I think she knows this, and I think you're about to help her out. So, um that way she could transfer maybe out of her toxic community or toxic facility or toxic area or what have you, what have you. Um, it sounds like you're about to balance the scales with some Libra energy. Um, but a positive Libra energy, yeah, you're a fire sign, yeah, you're Aries, but everybody takes on different signs, energy. I mean, hell, the Libra's coming in as a damn crocodile. I'm just saying. So, yikes. Broken heart. The death of a Capricorn already in the universe has broke an Aries heart. And upcoming, there's about to be a death of another Capricorn. It's going to be shocking and it's going to break your heart. For one, they work in your workplace. It's going to shock you. For one, it's a neighbor. For one, you interact with them in the community. Oh, Lord, heavy caps energy. Okay, so if this resonates for you, this message applies. There, there has already been a death of a Capricorn in your life. It can be, I feel it can be masculine fem caps. They could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, and heaven, your charts. If that resonates for you, um, Aries. I heard it's broke your heart. So I think you like this Capricorn. I think you might have been close to them. I think it pulled on your heartstrings when they passed away. I'm not sure who this person is to you. Uh, I feel it could have been a family member, a close neighbor, friend, co-worker, what have you, what have you. But it hurt you that they passed away. So broken heart. It gave you broken heart. And my condolences to whoever has experienced a recent loss of this Capricorn. I don't know if it's a masculine or femme caps, but I am sorry, sir, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry. Um, but I heard upcoming, there's about to be, for one of you guys, it's somebody that works in your corporate entity. 
for one, it's a neighbor and one, they're in your community. So you interact with them in some kind of community situation. I don't know if it's a ball team situation, uh, activism situation, a volunteering situation, or um, community works or something like that. I hope that resonates, but um, they're about to pass away. They're about to pass away. I heard unexpectedly. So nobody's going to expect this Capricorn to pass away. Um, I mean, like death. Like, they're going to pass away. Like, no pulseless, um, no respirations, like, asystole, like, flatline, like, pass away. Um, and I heard basically it's, um, uh, it's going to shock you and it's going to break your heart. So, um, I think you like this Capricorn. I think you like this Capricorn and I think, um, uh, it's going to really hurt you that they are about to pass away. I think you like them. Um. Whether it's your neighbor, a community member in your community, I feel your community, Aries, or um, someone that works in your corporate entity, whether it's a coworker, a subordinate, or a boss, how that resonates. Um, it, I feel that one could be a, a masculine or femme caps as well. They could have Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hemorrhage if you're charged. Heavy Capricorn energy and heavy Libra energy and heavy water sign manipulator in corporate energy. Woo! Toad. And also, too, I was going to say, the broken heart also could go with that fem energy that got wrongfully terminated. And I, one of you guys is going to try, um, you're either going to make it right or try to make it right with that report. Um, I don't know if she's going to get reinstated or not. I didn't hear she was going to get reinstated, but I heard you're going to uh, make the report to help her get reinstated back in the company. So I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. Only you are going to know that. And the person that's going to take the report and either do something about it or not do something about it will know that. But I think it breaks your heart that that happened possibly. Um, maybe for one. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Aries. Okay? Toad. And then Aries is about to expose a pedophile ring. Heavy air sign energy. So much evidence in the universe. They're about to do it. So embarrassed. Okay. Well, this is a pretty good reading, Aries. Well, that's good. this is a pretty good reading. I mean, I'm sorry for the person that's about to pass away and the one that already has, but... Overall, this is good energy. Uh, of course, you plug yourself in where you fit, but there's some kind of pedophile ring out in the universe. One of you guys, I heard there's so much evidence and it's embarrassing. So, whoever this is for, I don't think you participated in this pedophile ring, or at least I hope not. I don't know. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But whether you did or didn't, I feel for some you could be investigating this ped pedophile ring. And I'm just being serious. I feel for some you could be investigating it or you did investigate it, or you're about to investigate it. So you could be a private investigator or a public investigator or a police investigator, or you could be a community member that has found out about this pedophile ring. And however you found out about it, I'm not sure. And there's so much evidence in the universe to support it, it embarrasses the hell out of you and you're about to report it. I hope to God you're not in this pedophile ring, but only you know how you were connected to this pedophile ring. But whoever this message is for, it embarrasses you. So I don't think you were actually in the pedophile ring, if that makes sense. I think you were just connected to it or you found out about it or what have you, what have you. You see what I'm saying? But how are the resonates? It embarrasses you. And embarrasses you. I think it's in your community and it embarrasses you and you want to help put a stop to it and you're about to do it so um you plug it in how, and I don't blame you that is so embarrassing I mean who wants to live in a community with an active pedophile ring nobody nobody I mean that's disgusting and who would want once the imagine when it gets leaked out because eventually it will if it don't get shut down when new people move into the community and they and they have kids and they find out about this uh, pedophile ring in their community they're going to move out or they're going to call the police and it's going to cause a huge ass 
uproar for people that don't believe in pedophile rings. And they're going to be protecting their kids like God Almighty because, um, hello, they don't want their kids part of no creepy deepy voyeur camera pedophile ring, people um, tuning in to pay to play to look at little kids undress. I mean, that's just gross. So I don't blame you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. But um, I heard you're about to, um, you're about to do something about it. So I think it breaks your heart about this pedophile ring. Um, whoever this message is for, I think you were not like one of those dark arts, black hearted per people that has been paying off their home, uh, utilizing their own children and grandchildren to do it. At least God, I hope not. I think you're somebody else. Toad. So I think this is the karmic that created this, um, pedophile ring. Um, I think you're about to take them down. I think you're about to take them down or help take them down. I'm about to provide so much information, so much. I'm about to provide so much information, so much. So you're about to provide so much information on this pedophile ring. Um, this is Parmix. I heard Air Sign Energy um, that did this. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. For some, it's your family members. For some, it's community members. For some, it is people you went to school with. So embarrassing. For some, it's your family members. For some, it's community members. Uh, for some, it's people you went to school with. So I'm thinking high school, middle school, college, elementary school, primary school, what have you, what have you. Uh, I heard it's so embarrassing. For some, it's coworkers. And for some, it's coworkers. So for some, it's coworkers. For some, it's people you went to school with, whether it's college or primary school or high school or middle school or elementary, elementary school or what have you, what have you. Um, for some, it's um, community members, um, and for some, it's family members. So you plug it in, how it resonates. These are your karmic toads that created this pedophile ring. Uh, the toad in this uh, um, deck is karmic energy. So they don't mean good into the universe, obviously. They're creating pedophile rings for their own pocketbooks. That's disgusting. Um, but you either found out about this or you're about to find out about it. So karmic Toad energy that created this pedophile ring. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Amy, Jupiter charts. And that could be this too with the pedophile ring. Too much concern with sexual matters. That's disgusting. That is so disgusting. And I think it gives you a broken heart. Scales keep your life in balance. Black magic on an Aries warlock is about to seriously backfire. Seriously backfire. This Aries warlock is very, very, very lonely. It has not backfired in the money department yet, but it is about to. And a fire in the fireplace. And a fire in the fire. My God, we're in July. A fire in the fireplace? Okay, so Aries Warlock energy. So it's a masculine Aries, um, dark arts Aries um, that utilizes dark arts. Heard it hasn't backfired in the money department. So I think this person makes hella good money. Whoever this person is. I think for a lot of you guys, you know this Aries war Warlock. I don't think it's you, but you plug it in how it resonates. I think you know him. He makes hella good money. I heard it has not backfired in the money department. So he brings in the bank. He has no problems with the money department manifesting money-wise. I mean, it has worked for him and the money. He has done many money manifestation spells and he's done it on the dark art side and he is proud of that and he's making hella bank. Whatever the crap he does. But I heard soon, he's very lonely though. I heard he's very lonely. So I don't, I think the single is a Pringle, but I think he wants somebody or he wants a booty call or I don't know, opinion or what have you, what have you. I don't know. Uh, but somehow he's lonely. So I think he's legally single. Like I'm happy being legally single for me, but it works for me and my kids because I don't want no drama field karmic coming around trying to creep on me and my kids. And that's just the truth. But whoever this person is, I don't think they have kids. 
At least I didn't hear they did. I don't feel they do. I think they're very successful in the money department, wh whether they own their own business or businesses, or they work out in the 3D. They bring in the bank. But I don't think they have child or children. I heard it's about to backfire on them in the form of money this time. And some kind of fire in the fireplace. We're in July, man. I've, I've had this home for five years. I have a fireplace. I've never lit my fire on my fireplace. Mine can be wood burning or gas. I've never done wood burning. I'm assuming it'd be a wood burning fireplace. Um, or maybe the gas line leaks or something. If it's a gas burning. I'm not sure. But somehow a fire in a fireplace with him. Um, he's going to have to keep his life in balance when this fire occurs in his fireplace in the friggin' middle of July. Yeah, the, I don't know what crap he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you plug it in how it resonates. He's going to have to keep his life in balance. That is something. Holy crap. A Taurus masculine is about to really try to come manipulate you. It'd be very, very, very smart to keep your distance from this person. For some, you're their boss. For some, you work on the force with them. Police force. Okay, so Taurus masculine energy strong. Uh, for some of you, you're their boss. So you are their boss, the Taurus masculine's boss in the workforce, 3D work, workspace. For one, you work on the force with them. So police force, I heard. So you are both officers of the law. So however that resonates. But it's a Taurus masculine. They have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard they're about to come. And you could be a masculine or femme Aries, I feel. You could be a masculine or femme Aries. But I heard they're about to come um, manipulate you. So you're going to have to keep your life in balance. Basically, don't um, don't um, give in to the manipulation. Don't give in to manipulation. I don't know if he's um, it's a masculine, so I don't know if he's going to lie to you or try to lure you in with looks or his great humor or what have you, what have you. But there's a reason he's coming to manipulate you. Um, and I don't think it's good. For some, I think he might use sex to do it or sex magic. We have too much concern with sexual matters, possibly. Um, and I'm just being serious about that, possibly. But you plug it in, how it resonates. For one, he will seduce you. For one, he's going to try to convince you to bend the rules. But it would not be smart. It really would not be smart because you will get caught. Okay, so for one, he's going to try to seduce you. So um, whether it's both of you officers of law on the workforce, I mean, I'm sorry, on the police force, or whether you're his boss and he's your subordinate in a workplace situation, sexual energy. He's going to try to seduce you with sex, his body, his looks, his charm, maybe all of it. Just saying, just saying. Um, I'm assuming he's good looking or he thinks he's good looking, how that resonates. Um, and for one, um, he's going to try to convince you to bend the rules. But I heard it would not be smart because it's going to end up backfiring on you. Um, and probably him too, if you bend the rules. I think you're going to get caught or he's going to get caught or you're both going to get caught. So... Keep your life in balance um, as far as him trying to convince you to bend the rules or him trying to sexually seduce you. Um, one, he, I mean, and I didn't hear this, but I'm just intuitively feeling this. For one of you guys, I feel he might have fetishes of like having sex with a boss. And I didn't hear that, but I'm just being for real. I think he might have fetishes of having sex with the boss. Heard you're his boss in a workplace situation. So I don't know if he's going to try to tempt you with sex, but I feel for one he might. And if he does, he might have 
he might i feel very immature the one in the workspace well both of them they're very immature but the one in the workspace he might have fetishes of um having sex with a boss and you might be his sexual fetish um i'd be careful too much concern with sexual matters A pay-to-play pedophile code is about to become very significant in Aries' life. Copy and paste. Send to the police. For one, you are the police. A pay-to-play pedophile code is about to become very significant in Aries' life. I heard copy and paste. Uh, for one, you're about to send it to the police. For one, you are the police. So, some kind of pay-to-play pedophile code. So, I don't know, man. Um, I'm assuming you got to pay to get into the access with the code, pay to play code, and it's some kind of internet based on a device. And you've got to type, copy and paste the code or type the code in to access it, and they can press it and boom, it pops up on their screen, their device. I heard pay to play code, copy and paste. So that's what I'm presuming. Yeah copy and paste it or you type it in boom you click on it you press on it oh you can see whatever you want to see some weird creepy kids uh, not the kids but weird creepy cam a uh, voyeur cam image of poor kids undressing or weird inappropriate nature of them um that's so gross man that's so gross I heard one you're about to send this to to the police and one you are the police so one you're about to be the police i don't know if you're an investigator or investigators or you're going to send it to the proper chain of command if you are a police personnel here masculine or femme aries hopefully you take care of this crap please take care of this crap this is pedoph more pedophile energy too much concern with sexual matters pedophile energy of kids man leave the kids alone hashtag leave the kids alone anybody needs to hear that For one, it is somebody in your workplace. For one, it is somebody in your workplace. So for one, it's somebody in your workplace that's doing this pay-to-play pedophile scheme. Um, yikes. It could be that water sign in corporate or this earth sign. Uh, not this earth sign, this Taurus masculine, possibly. Um, I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. Dear God. Danger, especially in money matters. A neighbor, feminine neighbor, you really, 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 really like, she hangs out with you a lot, is about to steal money from your home soon. A lot of it. For one, you will report her to the police. You don't want to, but you know it's the best. And for one, she will not only steal a lot of money, but she will steal alcohol too. Oh, my Lord. Neighbor energy. Okay, so um, it's a femme neighbor you really, really, really like if this message applies for you, Aries. You could be masculine or femme Aries, um, but it's a feminine neighbor you really like. So, and she's been in your home before. So, she's been in your physical home, um, in your home, and I think probably many times. But how that resonates, um, one of them, I heard they're about to steal a lot of money from you. And one, they're going to steal a lot of money from you. It sounds like in your home. Not only they're going to steal a lot of money from you in your home, but they're going to steal alcohol too. So I don't know if that's beer, wine, um, shots, what have you, what have you. I don't know. I'm not a drinker. Um, whatever that is. Um, I heard you really like her. You really like her. So she is, um, she could be sexually attractive. I feel she could be sexually attracted with too much concern with sexual matters. 
I think she could be sexually attracted, and that maybe that's why you invited her over because maybe you thought the clout and fame of her being good looking would attract more people over to you, possibly, or um, or you wanted to be with her sexually, possibly for some. But she's a huge ass thief, I'll tell you that, a huge thief. Um, and she has been in your home, I feel, at, at least one time for some of you guys, two or two plus times. So much so she knows where this money is or she's about to find out where it is. And once she finds out where it is, she's going to take it. And for one, she's going to not only take the money, whether she knows where it is now or she's about to find out where it is, she's going to take alcohol too. So whoever you are, you have alcohol in your home. Like me, I don't. But some people do and I don't judge. But you have alcohol and money in your home. And so she's either knows where it is now or she's about to find out. I do feel she is sexually attracted. And I, because we have the too much concern with sexual uh, matters here. Um, and keep your life in balance. I heard you really like her, but it's because of, I mean, I don't know why you like her, but she's not keeping your life in balance. And she's about to keep it, throw it off way more off balance when she steals this money or money at, or alcohol from you. Whoever you are, Aries, it's going to give you a broken heart because she's, you're about to find out she's karmic. Um, she doesn't have good intentions for you. I think you thought she did. Um, now, whoever this person is to you, I think for some, you wanted to be with her romantically or sexually. Or you have been with her romantically or sexually. Or you find her sexually attractive. How that resonates. Danger, especially money matters. Money is about to come up missing. She's already been in your home at least one time. She is your neighbor. If this resonates for you, Aries. That's why I don't allow any neighbors in my home. And that's just the truth. An Aries feminine is about to get a huge wake-up call. She's about to make a very, 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 very important phone call soon. Very important phone call. An Aries feminine is about to get a huge, huge, huge wake-up uh, call. She's about to make a very important phone call soon. A very, very, very important phone call. So whoever you are, Aries fem, you're Aries fem. You can have Aries in any aspect of your charts. Some, some reason you're about to get a huge wake-up call. It could be about something in here or something else. But however that resonates, you're about to make a very important phone call soon. Because uh, you're about to get a wake-up call. And it's about to make you make the phone call. Whatever that's about, I'm not sure. Okay. Jessica, Jamie, Katie. Jessica, Jamie, Katie, Jason, Jason, Tyler, Tyler, James, James, Jackson, and Jackson. Okay, that could be your name uh, or somebody you're connected to's name, first, middle, last name, um, a nickname. You plug it in, how it resonates. Cassie, Carolyn, Cassie and Carolyn, Cassie and Carolyn. Okay, well, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful night. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel or um, could benefit, Katrina, Carly, Casey. Katrina, Carly, and Casey. Katrina, Carly, and Casey as well. So you plug it in how it resonates. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it um, via word of mouth and social media. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. And um, namaste.